welcome back to the Dr. Phil Show. I'm Dr. Phil and today we have some passionate Danes with some bad relationships. Today we're going to be talking about the end of their lives, Act 5 of Hamlet that is. I'd like to welcome to the stage our first guest, Prince of Denmark, Hamlet. My heart bleeds black blood with sorrow and sadness. Right, let's get into it then. We're going to start off by talking about your lover Ophelia. It was just a few weeks ago when you stumbled into her funeral, is that right? Well, I did not know it was her funeral at first. That good-for-nothing gravedigger was avoiding my questions. I found a lawyer there, and I thought to myself, where be his quitties now, his qualities, his cases, his tenures, and his tricks? Then I found poor old York, my childhood jester friend, there, all dead and such. Oh, how it hurt me to see him like that, once so full of jokes. We all die. And what I was wondering, you've many times spoken on death as the ultimate equalizer, even having said yourself, to what base uses we may return, Horatio? Why may not imagination trace the noble dust of Alexander till he find it stopping a bunghole? So tell me, why does this topic interest you so much? When you, too, are surrounded by death as I am, Philip, you will look for ways to explain and justify it. What was going through your head when you realized that it was Ophelia's funeral that you had stumbled into? I was disgusted. My entire bloody family was there, as if my mother ever really cared about us getting married. Uh, she said, if I recall, I hoped thou shouldest have been my Hamlet's wife. Of course she did. She says these things in the moment if they seem right. Of course she never really cared about Ophelia until the moment of her death. Did you ever really love Ophelia? I loved Ophelia. Forty thousand brothers could not, with all their quantity of love, make up my son. Interesting. Is that why you left her alone after killing her father? I did what I had to do for my father. Believe me, when I saw her, I wanted to be very quick with her. And risk ending up in hell with her for committing suicide? How angsty. How dare you even speak of my Ophelia going to hell? I swear on my late father's... Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, on that note, let's give a warm welcome to Laertes. Hello, Dr. Phil. Oh, he's here? You never loved my sister. I was the only one that cared for her well-being, Hamlet. You left her to her own grief. Her suicide was your fault. No, no fighting on this show, please. Can't get blood on these nice seats. <laughs> Despite your heavily Christian background, you truly believe that your sister will go to heaven? Of course. And from her fair and polluted flesh, may violet spring, I tell thee, churlish priest, a ministering angel shall my sister be. Can you explain what that means? That made no sense. She was the only one in this whole wretched play that never had blood on her hands. She deserved to go to heaven, and no doctor or priest can tell me otherwise. What was your plan to exact revenge on Hamlet for all the pain he caused your family? Claudius and I had come up with a foolproof plan to kill Hamlet. I would duel him in a fencing match. The blade of my rapier was poison, so when I stabbed him, he would die. If this failed, Claudius had prepared a deadly cup of wine for Hamlet to drink. Did it ever occur to you that, um, that Claudius might just be set using you for his own intentions? No, not until after the plan had been carried out. After hearing my father's death, I was consumed with a desire for revenge. It seemed that Claudius was only trying to help me, but now I see that may not have been the case. Claudius help someone? That would never happen. All he does is kill those around him. Friend, foe, brother. On that note, let's get into the meat of it, shall we? The death scene. Ready to relive your death day, boys? I guess. I've got nothing better to do. For all you non-Shakespeareans out there, I'm going to summarize what happened. Gertrude drank from the poison cup. Laertes wounded Hamlet with the poison rapier. Hamlet wounded Laertes with the poison rapier after they switched rapiers. And Hamlet stabbed Claudius and forced him to drink the rest of the poison. How heartwarming. Now let's hear it for a first-hand witness. Put your hands together for the <coughs> incestuous <coughs> Queen of Denmark, Gertrude. Ah! It's okay, sweetie. Let's just calm down. Oh, calm down, Mom. He's just going through a phase. It's not a phase, Mom. This is who I am. So, Gertrude, were you aware that your husband wanted to kill Hamlet? Oh, dear me. I thought Hamlet was crazy. He killed Polonius in front of my face. I didn't know Claudia was setting him up to be poisoned. I just wanted to have him sent away for a while while the whole mess calmed down. I never suspected... Something seems rotten here. Something a bit fishy. Did you know the cup was poisoned? Was this your attempt at suicide? What are you talking about? Of course I didn't know. Why, why would I? You did say, I am justly killed of mine own treachery after dying. Perhaps you felt guilty after all you've done, Gertrude. Gertrude, who did you really care about? Your family, your husband, Hamlet, or yourself? I... 
Um, well, I pass on this one. And what, how do you feel about your mother? Wretched queen, adieu. Oh, sweet Hammy. Don't call me that, Mom. Leave me alone. I'm sure she cared you about you a bit, Hamlet. After all, when you were fighting, she said, Come, let me wipe thy face. Dr. Phil is right, Hamlet. I've always loved you. When you were dying, it nearly killed me. That's because you already were dying, Mom. Remember, you drank the poison. I, I just wanted to do what was best for the family. Yeah, Mom, I'm sure your incestuous relationship was really best for the family. Ooh, some deep anger. Hamlet, elaborate, please. Why did you end up killing Claudius in the end? Are you kidding me? Have you even read the play? That Claudius, he hath killed my king and whored my mother, popped in between the election and my hopes. I forget nothing about his death. It was ironic, really, how he died of poison, the same way he murdered my father. You just hated him because you wanted to be king. I didn't ask to be born the prince. I never wanted this. He killed my father. I never wanted the crown to be bestowed upon me. I wanted to learn and run off with my lover, Horatio, I mean, Ophelia, who was never good enough for you. While we're on the topic of murder, why did you set up the deaths of Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, Hamlet? Similar to how I feel about Claudius, I have no guilt for their deaths. They were traitors against my father, and I was simply avenging his name. How about you, Laertes? Do you feel any guilt for what you've done? Only guilt that it all ended like this. Hmm. We have the, uh, lie detector test from earlier, and, uh, that was determined to be a lie, Laertes. Do you forget begging for Hamlet's forgiveness as you died, or for admitting that your conscience haunted you as you poisoned Hamlet? Fair enough. Gertrude? There is special providence in, this, providence in the fall of a sparrow. If it be now, it is not to come. If it be not to come, it will be. Now, if it be not now, yet it will come. For those of you that do not speak Shakespeare, I believe what Hamlet is trying to say is that death is inevitable and out of one's control. If it doesn't get you now, it'll get you later. Hamlet, are you trying to say that it doesn't matter that all of you died in the end? All's well that ends well, Phyllis. I can't speak for the characters, but for me, my death was important. To be or not to be was a decision I battled with throughout the entire play. Yet, I died not in vain, for what I sought out to do, and I, for, for I sought out to avenge my father, and I accomplished this goal. For once, I agree with Hamlet. I would say I did the same, that is, dying in the process of avenging my father. Plus, now, I get to be with my family once again. Feel free to chime in at any time, Gertrude. Yes, well, personally, I would prefer it if I hadn't died, but I guess some would say I had it coming. I was so clueless the entire play and died the same way. Oh, the irony, the tragedy, the betrayal. I never saw it coming. Really, Felipe? It's literally called the tragedy of Hamlet. Plus, haven't you read any of Shakespeare's works? At least we lasted for more acts than Julius Caesar did. Very well. Well, that's all we have for today, folks. It's just about time to cut to commercial. But stay tuned, because coming up next we have the Catch Me Outside Girl is Pregnant. <laughs> okay, I'm not scoffing because I don't know how to do that. It's and so easy. 